hello friends, family, subscribers, and everybody else on the World Wide Web, or as we like to call it, the internet. So how y'all doing? I hope you're all having a good day. Um, it's a little cool here today, but it's still nice enough to go out and do stuff. It's cloudy, overcast, getting ready for the big storm tomorrow. Supposed to get a lot of snow and stuff tomorrow, or so they say. But anyways, we're here at this place called, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's called BGR, Burgers Grilled Right. And you know what? You know what, guys? I, first of all, let me back up and say, I hope you guys' this weekend has been great and fantastic. And I hope you all had fun. So now, I'm going to show you somebody who's got a, a big place in my heart. He's been a great friend for the better part of three years, if not a little bit longer now. And I'm going to introduce you to... Get ready for it. Ready? You guys ready? Here's, there he is, John, my, my wingman. One of the greatest guys you'll ever get a chance to meet. What's up, everybody? Yeah, I tell you what. We're a guy, you know, with all the jokes set aside, and, I mean, I tease him a lot, probably more than I should. But that set aside, hey, he knows I love to tease him a little bit. Yeah. But I tell you what. John's one of the greatest friends I've ever He's one of my best friends here. So John, now is your opportunity to speak. Hey everybody, um, I just love this music in the background. It's about having a lovely day. It's bringing out a lovely day from Salt Lake. All right, but y'all notice one thing now? Even though I was said some good things about him, he didn't say a damn thing about me. Maybe I need to reevaluate my relationship with him as the big deal and wingman. So I'm gonna give him one last chance to, to, um, to let's see if he wants to uh, redeem himself. Someday I maybe, will. And um, maybe be in my good graces. Oh, uh, that sounds extremely manipulative. Oh, see, he's there, there's John trying to use big words in the wrong place. I think Justin is the big deal. He is the caring, compassionate, leader that is in Salt Lake County trying to make the world better. I love it. We chat a lot about how to spread positivity and he loves his family and he loves his daughter. He loves trying to be a better person. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let me ask you this then. What, it was saying that, but also saying that, I, I'm a, that I'm a manipulator. Explain that, John. How am I a manipulator? Sounds, uh, I said uh, it sa that sounds manipulative to be able to come back after you put yourself into that spotlight and say, I'm going to have him redeem himself here on camera. <laughs> uh, it's not manipulative. Manipulative. No, not at all. You know better than that. You've been hanging around Jesse too long. We're learning those big words. and See, that? that's great that you're learning the big words, but now you got to know when to use them. I, that's like a song, isn't it? No when to fold them? Yep, by Kenny Rogers. I love that song. So we're just out here having a burger together, chilling on a Sunday. Yeah. Having a good time, That's everybody. Right. And uh, and folks, trust me, I will work with John so he knows and learns how to use these big words and put them in the right place. Because he knows better than that to say I'm manipulative. Because see the thing is, if I'm gonna be manipulative, John's not gonna know it. <laughs> so and 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 yes i i have to confess i've manipulated john more than one occasion and he's never even noticed it no i'm just kidding that's not true but i will show you something really funny though okay this is john my my wingman of apathy that's right he's my he's gonna be my wingman of apathy and you know, and, and even though we're hanging out, you know what John is doing? Look at that. He's text messaging on Messenger. You know who he's text me? Who he's messaging? His boyfriend. <laughs> I'm giving, you know, I'm giving John a hard time, but he does. But in all fairness, John does look a little tired. I'm working on Project Empathy with my friend Josh right now. We're looking at doing some events specifically around games. We've got like an UNO championship coming up, a tournament potentially where people can play phase 10 or UNO with families. 
So we're yeah. working right now on a couple of different things. That's good. Yeah. And see, and that's the nice thing about Project Empathy. Even, you know, I was one, according to John and Chase, I was probably one of the first to get involved. And it's growing and others are becoming involved, like Jesse and this other person he just mentioned. I'm sorry, I forgot you said Josh. Josh. Chuck? Josh. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Josh. So, and that's, that's good that more we're getting other folks involved and taking an active part in it. So that's a fantastic thing. So, anyways, with that said, I'm going to let you all go. And I hope you all have a great day. And we'll talk to you soon. So please remember, if you can make somebody smile, do that. If you can make somebody laugh, do that. And, of course, you know, the best part is if you can help somebody out, please do so. Because they all love you and appreciate it. So will I. They're worth it. And I know you can do it. All right. I'm going to sign off. See you guys later. Boom.